us the top stories. Imitate good habits and learn, says Dr. Lenin. Seven killed in Kabul after car bomb blast near Interior Ministry. Alert protest demand disclosure of Indo Naga Agreement. Good evening and welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Suraj Kongban Tabang giving you the news. Now, the news in detail. Development and Protection United Voluntary Organization DPO VO Nambol organized its aid interaction program at Bethel English School Nambol. Advisor of San John English High School M. Ibo Bimite, Principal of Bethel English School A. Nabachandra, President of DPO VOT Kabakuman, Secretary of Bethel English School Tomba Kunzengbam, and Principal of Special Regular English School M. Kennedy were present during the program. Resource person of the program, Dr. R. K. Lenin, head of Department of Psychiatry, Rims Imphal stated that students must imitate good habits and learn them. Lenin said that adolescence is a critical time of one's life and it needs carefulness. He noted that this is the period when they tend to adapt very soon. Dr. Lenin recommended parents to give proper guidance to their words during this time. Students and parents also took part in the program. Seven people were killed and seven others injured in a car bomb explosion near the interior ministry in the Afghan capital of Kabul today. According to reports, the bomb attack came a day after two Taliban commanders and a leader of the Haqqani militant group were released in exchange for two professors, an American and an Australian. In a development, some analysts had hope could defuse violence in Afghanistan. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the attack. A suspected suicide bomber blew himself up outside police headquarters in Indonesia's city of Medan on Wednesday, wounding six people, police said, just a month after an Islamist militant attack a former security minister. The motive for today's attack was not immediately clear, but Indonesia, the world's most populous Muslim-majority country, has suffered a resurgence in homegrown militancy in recent years. With some attacks targeting police, national police spokesman Dedi Prasetyo said the perpetrators had died and four officers and two civilians, one of whom was a police employee, had been wounded by the blast in a car park at Medan Police Headquarters early morning. Indonesia's anti-terrorism unit, Densus 88, was investigating whether it was a lone wolf attack or linked to a radical group like the Islamic State-inspired Jama Ansarul Dola, JAD, which has carried out a series of attacks in the country, he said. In support of Kokumi, the Joint Committee for Manipur Integrity Moirang Subdivision, KG Moirang Kanbalup, Kim Kal, and members of Moirang Kendra Punba Mera Paibi Imalup, Mampil, along with Winger Association, Tata Music, and Tata Iris Association stage an alert rally yesterday. Around 350 vehicles took part in the rally. Banners like Bring Peace, Not Peace, No Compromise for Territorial Integrity of Manipur were displayed during the demonstration. President of Winger Association, Naurim Bimol, demanded immediate disclosure of the Naga Framework Agreement. He pledged support of the associations to Kokomi and other social organizations until the content of the agreement is disclosed. <laughs> Sharuk 
Joining the series of alert protests being carried out under the aegis of Kokomi concerning Naga political dialogue, local residents of Wangzin took out a protest rally yesterday during which a cop was injured during a scuffle near the residence of local MLA Paunam Brazen. Several organizations, clubs and Maira Paibis of Wangzin took part in the protest rally organized by all Wangzin youth organizations. The protesters also held a brief meeting at Wangzin Hodamba Pukhriachoba. The protesters marched through National Highway 102 and later stormed the residence of local MLA Paunam Brazen. Police, in their bid to control the angry demonstrators, used tear gas shells to disperse them. One cop was injured in the scuffle. Altogether, 2,000 people took part in the rally. Well, it's time for a short commercial break. Do stay tuned. Jabah Kanglagi Polam Singh Fang Biragani Luhong Panthana Lak Pada Miam Gida Mak Lai Zare Lai Ma Kabo Loi Nana Luhong Baki Akan Aba Discount Supi Zare Aku Pamaro Gida Mak Contact Tawiyuk 8131 Natraga 9612056941 Kangna Kabo Kta Biyo Yaham Na Hau Bani Classic Hospitality Training Institute, a unit of Babina Healthcare and Hospitality Industries Private Limited, initiated by Classic Group of Hotels, brings exciting short-term course, three months course in front office operations, three months course in food and beverages service operations, 45 days course in personality development and soft skills. Eligibility, 12 pass and 18 years to 30 years. Fee structure, rupees 15,000 for 3 months and rupees 10,000 for 45 days training. 100% placement assistance with free uniform and study material. Please contact Classic Hospitality Training Institute, Center 1, Babina Diagnostics Building or Center 2, Hotel Imphal by the Classic. Welcome back after the break. Under the Pradhan Mantri Abhiyan Surakshit Abhiyan, PMSMA District Health Society and Block Program Management Unit, Kaupum of Nona District organized a medical checkup for expecting mothers come a health awareness camp for Asha and Angalwadi workers at the primary health center of Kaupum. Talking to Tom TV, State Nodal Officer, Maternal Health Dr. Meena Seram informed that the event was organized under the PMSMA to make available a safe birth planning for expectant mothers in the interior areas of the state. Obstructive complication, high body, angang matanga, onanan lai bana ching bam ayama si, akhoi laboratory test, clinical examination, amasung ultrasound, tau duna khangdu oga, matam chana makhoi si, menes tau biba, laying biba, adai mapham si da ngamdraga na higher center da refer tau ba si, akhoi main objective ni akhoi PMS me program si. The medical camp was also attended by gynecologist Dr. Bilasini Tayanjam, radiologist Dr. Ruhigup, gynecologist Dr. James Elangbam, along with the consultant of UNICEF, Arun Maitram, and doctors and nurses of the primary health center. Two documentary films, Meena Longzam's Achobi in Love and Sonia Nepram's Bloody Fanek have been selected for screening at the upcoming 12th edition of the film South Asia FSA to be held in Kathmandu on November 14 to 17. According to reports, the film Achobi in Love will be screened on November 16, while Sonia Nepram's Bloody Fanek is scheduled for November 17 screening. This edition was recorded registration of 2,500 films, out of which 63 from seven countries have been selected for the four-day mega festival. Taking serious note of the photos and video that went viral on social media of a newlywed couple posing with assault rifles, Nagalen Governor R.N. Ravi has directed Director General of Police DZP to register a criminal case, seize the guns and arrest the culprits. According to sources, Ravi, who is also the center's interlocutor for Naga Peace Talks, has directed the police to initiate action against the couple and other accomplices. According to reports, Ravi asserted that such activities were not acceptable and would not be tolerated. Meanwhile, DZP has asked Commissioner of Police Dimapur to initiate action. Due to several decades of gun violence in Nagaland, unfortunately most citizens are not well versed with the laws regarding uses of guns, especially assault rifles. 
There are many instances where ordinary citizens without any harmful intentions have uploaded their photos with guns in their social media accounts. However, this particular picture caught the attention of many at a time when all eyes are on Nagaland as Naga political groups and the center have entered a decisive phase to end the decades all Naga problem. Aizol Municipal Corporation organized a plastic-free rally at two locations in Aizol yesterday. The rallies held the, at the Chanmari and Sikulpukon M or at students to make them more aware about the detrimental effects of plastic. The rallies were part of AMC's ongoing drive to educate people about the harmful effects of single-use plastic and reduce plastic uses. The rally participants congregated at Lamuol where Chief Secretary Lal Mawa Chaununga and AMC Mayor PC Lalmintanga addressed the students and spoke about the harm plastic has on health and the environment. Students from 14 schools across Aizol took part in the rally and pledged to reduce plastic uses. Pakistan's ailing former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif today refused to meet Imran Khan government's demand to submit indemnity bonds worth Rs 700 crores for travel to UK for medical treatment saying it was illegal and denounced attempts to politicize his health. According to media reports, Pakistan cabinet decided to allow 69-year-old Sarif to go to the UK for medical treatment if the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, PML and Supremo agrees to sign surety bond making a commitment that he would return after the treatment and face corruption cases against him. The cabinet meeting chaired by Prime Minister Khan approved removal of Sarif's name from the no-fly list. Let's now have the sports news. In sports today, Novak Djokovic suffered defeat in a thriller against an inspired Dominic team at the ATP Finals yesterday and now faces a showdown with great rival Rosa Federer to decide who will reach the last four at this season ender. Swiss Federer struck off defeat by Austria's team in his opening group match to comfortably beat Italian Meto Berrettini 7-6. 6-3 in the day's opening singles. But the real drama at the O2 Arena came later when team beat Djokovic 6-7, 6-3, 7-6 in the standout match of the tournament so far. World number 5 team blazed 50 winners in a sensational display of aggressive hitting to claim his second group win and seal his first semi-final in his fourth appearance. While Federer is trying to avoid only his second group stage exit in 17 appearances at the year-ending Soupies. These tags will be even higher for Djokovic. Let's now have the top stories of today's newspaper headlines. The Sungai Express. Trust government, maintain calm. Chief Minister appeals to all. Naga Mothers Association talks peace with Mayrapaibis Kukumi. Congress MLAs to lobby for integrity at Delhi. All Manipur Students Union warns against price hike of goods. The People's Chronicle. Santa will uphold interest of Manipur. The boycott call or demand for postponement of state's biggest tourism festival, Manipur Sangai Festival may send out a wrong message to the outside world. Territorial Council will show seats for bifurcation, says Ibobi. Kokomi demands packed details. Agitators petition Emily. Info Free Press. Nagaland mothers reach out for peace to Manipur. Disturbed with RN Ravi's inconsistent statements, says NMA. Birain echoes Amit Shah's assurance of protecting state's integrity. Rules out holding assembly session. The Morning Bell. Center likely to invite state CSOs Kokomi for talks, says Chief Minister. Appeals public to trust government and remain calm. Congress MLAs to leave for New Delhi today to meet Prime Minister, Home Minister. Amit Saha's assurance to safeguard integrity not a new thing, says Ibobi. Naga Mothers Association holds talk with Kokomi, Mairapaibi Association. Drug peddler arrested with heroin pack in shop caps. Manipur University students, teachers skip classes to participate in pro-integrity protests. Manipur Mail, Trust Centre, no assembly session, says Chief Minister Biren. Presidents rule in Maharashtra. 
Japanese encephalitis vaccination at Tamanglong. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top stories once again. Imitate good habits and learn, says Dr. Lenin. Seven killed in Kabul after car bomb blast near Interior Ministry. And alert protest demand disclosure of Indo Naga Agreement. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.